Love's Labor's Lost is not one of the most frequently staged of Shakespeare's plays, but by the end of June, St. Louisans will have had two opportunities to see the play. The first production by the Webster University Conservatory just completed its run. It was not the original version, but a recent adaptation of the play as a musical by the same team that brought us Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson, songwriter Michael Friedman and book writer Alex Timbers. Still to come is a staging in Forest Park by Shakespeare Festival St. Louis. The festival will certainly give us more Shakespeare than the musical did, but the musical fully justified its alterations. The musical has a contemporary setting, the courtyard of an upscale resort hotel right outside a college campus in the Berkshires. After the King of Navarre has left his college reunion with three of his courtiers, he reminds them of their pledge to devote the next three years to study, living together apart from all the worldly pleasures, including women. Their resolve is immediately tested by the arrival of the Princess of France and three of her courtiers. She has some diplomatic business to conduct about the payment for the Aquitaine. In spite of their pledge, the young men are attracted to the young women and vice versa. This is a play about young people in love. In the original, they express their feelings in language that now requires footnotes. The humor comes from wordplay and topical allusions that also require footnotes. In the musical, the passions and the humor come from songs in a totally contemporary idiom. They give the musical the same immediacy the original play had for Elizabethan audiences, especially when the performances are as enlivening as the one at Webster. The first-rate ensemble included Benjamin Love as the King, Matt Billings as Barone, Noah Cornwell as Dumaine, James Owen as Longueville, Molly Burris as the Princess, Caitlin Whitty as Rosaline, Cecily Dodd as Maria, Taylor Fedden as Catherine, Alex Rudd as Boyette, Jacob Fleckier as Don Armato, John Katz as Moth, Bradley Fertitta as Dull, Chauncey Tangi as Costard, Cassandra Lopez as Jacanetta, Mason Kelly as Holofernes, J.R. Presky as Nathaniel, Amanda DePinto as Mercada, and Nate Garner as a refugee from another musical with literary roots. The excellence of the physical comedy was no surprise. The director, Melissa Rain Anderson, also directed the rep's marvelous production of the play that goes wrong. The dancing was exhilarating in Ellen Isom's choreography. Music director Larry D. Pry led a terrific band from an onstage gazebo that was an integral part of Ali Strelchin's rich-looking scenic design. Equally impressive were Marie Green's costumes, Jessica Stevens' lighting, Chantal Calvin's sound, and Maggie Clark's wigs and makeup. The text coach was Mason Kelly, the dramaturge Tyler Woods. Love's labors were lost in the end, but the conservatory made the final scene work as well as everything else. Yes, they did. It was a delightful show, and the music was fun, and as you say, it, it helped make that play work for people who aren't that familiar with all of the Elizabethan English possibilities of both of meaning and contemporary reference and all that, and I want to hear some of that music again. Because we all have the stars, the sun, the moon, and we'll all get old and we'll all die soon. And some people just don't care that things aren't tough and things aren't fair. If you can't find your perfect niche, or you can't sing with perfect pitch, you might just end up in a ditch for anyone who isn't. 